if Willie McGinnis somehow, you know, he saw this video and was like, yo, I'm gonna, I want, I need to reach out to Kersey Law. They've been, they've been getting some dope results lately, right? <laughs> they got all these five star reviews. Let me call up Kersey Law. If this happened, then, you know, what we do, he'd have an opportunity to talk to us. You know, you have an opportunity to talk to the team. We go through the basic facts of the case. You know, obviously at this point I've seen, we've seen the video, so we know what happened, but there's going to be a, a preamble, right? There's, there, there are things that happen before this video that you don't see on the video, right? And those are things that we're going to want to know. Like what, what happened? Like what led to you, you know, walking down that aisle right confronting this guy and ending up you know hitting him with that left hook and then everything pops off you know your boys knew that this was going to happen you could see in the way that they walked up and approached this situation they were all in on this before it even happened right so we're going to talk about you know what happened what led to this assault taking place and you know for for you what is at stake What's at stake? If this thing, if this completely goes south, how is this going to affect your life? How is this going to affect those around you? So he's 51 years old. So I'm sure he's got a family to support. I'm sure, you know, these guys that that went to the league, you know, they a lot of times they're taking care of folks, right? He might be taking care of his parents. And, you know, this is not the type of thing that's going to, that's going to, you know, leave uh, Willie McGinnis broke, you know, that, that that's, that's not going to happen, but it's, it's affecting the bag on some level, right? He lost his gig at, uh, at the NFL network, and that might just be temporary leave, but he's not working currently and it's probably not paid leave. Right. And so this is something that definitely is discussed when we're, when we're discussing in these initial consultations and I just, you know, I want to open this up to, you know, what happens because a lot of times there's a, there's an intimidation factor, right? You know, people are hesitant to reach out to lawyers because they think it's going to cost them an arm and a leg. They think that it's just going to be an intimidating experience and all these type of things. Like, no, at least, at least with us, right? <laughs> I can't speak for any of these other people out here, but I know when you call Kersey Law, we're going to be inviting, we're going to be warm, we're going to be a listening ear. You know, you're not going to be disrespected. You're not going to be judged. You're going to be listened to. You're going to have an opportunity to really talk about how this is already affecting your life. Because a lot of times when people either are arrested or under investigation, there's already been ways that this has affected their life. Their job knows and they're placed on leave or they've already been fired or their employer has let them know, hey, if you get popped with a felony, you got to go. Right. And so that's a very serious um, implication, right? That's a very serious outcome, a, a very serious manner in which a person's life can be affected by a felony charge. And, um, and so we're going through those discussions. If this thing, you know, if, if we do our job, right, what is the other side of us having done our job? How does that look for you, right? And, and really being able to see Again, if we do everything that we're supposed to do, you know, we're going through the reports, we're going through and doing, you know, our legal arguments, we're going through, we're doing an investigation, we're, we're presenting your case in court, we're telling your story, we're learning your story, we're doing all these things, you know, how is that going to make you feel compared to how you feel right now? You know, how, how is this affecting you right now emotionally? Oh, I'm upset. Oh, I'm scared. I'm a, I can't go to jail. You know, I spent one night in jail and then, you know, I bailed out and it was horrible. I never want to go through that again. There's no possible way I can go back into that jail, right? For a person with no criminal history to have to spend the night in jail, that's a nightmare. And, you know, some folks might say, oh, man, well, <laughs> you don't know what it's like to do 20 years in prison, right? You know, we, it, it, <laughs> nightmares are relative, but no, for real. I mean, if you do jail, you 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 go to jail for one night. It can be a very ex scary experience that you never want to have to live through again. So you want to do everything that you can to make sure that doesn't happen again. And that's where, you know, we step in to to help you with that. Right. And I think one of the most important things is that you're going to be treated professionally, respectfully and with no judgment. 
Um, and so, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd go through this information and, and get this information and, and ultimately let Willie know, Hey, you know, we'll do everything that we can to keep you out of jail. Right. We'll do everything that we can to avoid a conviction with no guarantees, but that's what we're looking to do.